Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Play. Uh, joining us this week, as usual, is Sorg. How you doing this week, Sorg? I'm doing great. All right, and Riz. Ah. What? How are you doing this week, Riz? Huh? How you doing? I'm doing this, super. This is part where you oh, converse. Okay. I'm doing super. Oh wow! See what, I, the, see what I did there? I I I I. I bought a game with superheroes and I said I'm super because I bought it. For uh, the video challenged, uh, Riz has a copy of Injustice. And uh, Chachi, uh, how are you doing this week? Ch 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 Chachi? Uh, yeah, we started talking about Nazis on the other side of the moon at the end of the Awesome Cats and then he went away. Oh no. We so we're a little since. worried about him. Maybe he'll come back during the show. There's a lot of thunder boom boom out there. Ah, uh, so we'll see what happens, I guess. Kapooya! Alien Nazis. All right. Well, um, let's. It's that time again. Uh, let's hear what everybody's played this week. Uh, we'll start with Riz. Riz, what'd you play this week? I play Cod Bloppers. Mm hmm. Of course. Mm hmm. Um, Bobby, I hate you for for now. For now. Because <laughs> you asked, and I I gave. I gave to you some ISO 8s. Yep. And then I started playing. Yep. And you're hooked and again. Then it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. Oh, no. No pants on. Oh, no. Uh, you had no pants on? Did you have pants <laughs> when you started? I think. So at what point? I'm at, I'm at, blurrily envisioning this that at some point during your game playing you get so mad that you rip your pants off I don't know where they went <laughs> luckily he has his pull off pants but for big in the 90s the superhero theme as, as Bobby said um, I was exempt from the challenge okay. because I actually bought the game okay, okay. and you have not uh, had a chance to actually plop it into your xbox Yes, I have. You have. Oh, oh, okay. Then why is it exempt? It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. It, 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 I, I was telling Bobby beforehand that it had the same feel as as the newest newer Mortal Kombat game that came out. Mm -hmm. Which which is a good thing. Which mm -hmm. is a good. Thing. Oh, very good thing. The mm -hmm. graphics are good. The story mode is awesome. <laughs> like you get to play as a good Joker. Wow. And you, Spoilers. And, um, should I spoil this part? Can you spoil no. a fighting game? Really? Oh, well, storyline mode. Okay. But, uh, Superman's evil. <gasps> oh, no. no. Red Sun evil or? No, like evil, evil. Superman uh -huh. evil. Not, not okay. bizarre Superman. Superman's a dick. S Superman's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so, like what have you been this, playing? I like how this comes down oh. to everybody's a dick. Everybody <laughs> in video games is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you been playing this week? Well, I've been. Uh, I, I actually got a chance to play Injustice uh, a few hours ago, the demo, at least. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, mm. So, it's definitely. I, I'm not going to drop 60 bucks on that. I can't justify yeah. 60 bucks on a fighting game like that. Uh, but, with, you know, those things usually drop like a rock after a few oh, months. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm going to keep an eye on it. So you it's might see me. Pickup. What's that? It's a good pickup. It is so a good pickup. Yeah, it, it's a good cheaper pickup, I think. Yeah. Yeah, um, I usually wait till they get on to like 20 mm -hmm. when I buy fighting Which games. makes me wonder. I, I, I got to see how much the last Mortal Kombat is because it's probably due to Oh, yeah, it's, it's way down too. now. So, I mean, I mean. Well, they, I, have, they have the whole expansion pack mm. now, too, where you can purchase the game, features Freddy and. And uh, I have that for the, PS3. But as the, it is, I need, I need to get back into. Guy. I need to get back into the Street Fighter Tekken X mm -hmm. uh, that we were playing. So because um, that that definitely overtook my my Street Fighter playing a little bit there. Uh, slash Marvel Marvel versus Capcom Two <laughs> <laughs> that I've been doing, which is on sale this week if you don't have it. Marvel Capcom Two. Yeah, that's awesome. On X, on it's, Xbox, it's worth it's it. I mean, mm -hmm. they didn't do the HD treatment to it. Um, but it's still it's still a tremendously fun game. It doesn't uh, need the and, HD treatment. Though. No, it's, it really does. Well, then we can see the pixelation and stuff. Yeah. So, but other than that, I think it's it's just fine. So, yeah. Chachi, what have you been playing? Bobby, what have you been playing? 
Uh, I played uh, Avengers Alliance again, and I'm almost, well, I'm about halfway to Vision. Again, um, you're welcome, yeah, Bobby. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I... Played... Did you help me out, Bobby? <laughs> huh? Did you help me out at all? Yes, I sent you some. Good. I sent you some ISO 8. That was good. Um, I also <laughs> played um, an embarrassing game for 3DS. was a demo. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's only one was, good Pokemon game. I downloaded game it, out. and I'm like, ah, let me let me play this. Let me try it. And it's horrible. There's one it's, good Pokemon game out there. Um, well, the, the regular oh, Pokemon, Pokemon games Pokemon are actually Snap. good. They're good RPGs, but just the, the, the side ones are just terrible. I'm just, I'm, I, just saying, I'm just saying Pokemon Snap, that was the shit back oh, in Pokemon the day. Oh, Pokemon Snap was amazing. That was the shit. It was a game where you could take <laughs> pictures of Pokemon. Or you it's could knock them out by throwing thing. apples at Pikachu. Oh, apples. Yeah. That's what we ended up doing. I tried to play that on so many emulators. Stadium, Stadium was the best, though. Um, I, I wasn't ever, ever big into the Game Boy ones. Yeah. But, well, but Stadium was pretty awesome. I don't think really even, the And the thing is, we didn't really play the, the actual Stadium fighting part mm -hmm. as much as we got a bunch of friends over and we played the mini games. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Wow. And, and I also played the challenge this week. Um, Good. But, but uh, not much else. I, I didn't get to play a lot of video games this week. Busy weekend. Obviously. So. Yeah. All right. Um, which brings us to our next segment. Hey, what uh, about me? So, huh? I thought you said something, sort of. I said something about Injustice just because you were saying something about Injustice, but I played other things. Oh, what'd you, what else did you play? What have you been playing? Really asked. Uh, I, I played some Limbo. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah, I love I love that game. It, it's you, you sit down, you solve, solve a couple puzzles, get a little bit stuck, go away, come back in a couple days later. It's been a pretty good one. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't load Duke Nukem because I was going to play some of that last night, but <laughs> eh, it happens. Uh, and other news, uh, uh, the Mortal Kombat Complete Edition is actually sixteen ninety nine over wow. on uh, Amazon dot com. So I is that nice. I, I presume that includes a lot of the DLC. I think Probably. it's all the DLC. All the That's DLC. All, yeah. And you can all get that in DLCs. a two-pack with Ultimate Marvel Capcom 3 for only thirty-seven sixty-seven. That's not bad at That's all. That's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so but, there's that. Excellent. Um, yeah. All right. What's up next, Bobby? Um, EA, our friends at EA. Yay! Uh, the the Yay. second year in a row. Two times. They got the Golden Poop Award. Okay. That was one of my first stories in in yeah. going to begin, but yeah, EA dickishly won the world's worst com worst company in America. I'm sorry, I forgot. I, I forgot to say something on the last one. I, I meant to uh, from the chat room. Brother Sword says he's been playing Pokemon Red all weekend. Girlfriend found my games and started playing Blue, so I thought I'd join her. Oh, that's a keeper. Okay. Gamers who play together stay together. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Missy and I play some Call of Duty plops all, uh, every once in a while here. So. Yeah, you do. And that's okay. why me and Elizabeth are going to get married. <laughs> oh. She's not real. Oh, no. <laughs> plus, plus, you have to battle. throw me money in so, real life. Oh, no. All right, back to you, Riz, and uh, EA <laughs> being disappointing, unlike yeah. our relationships. EA beat out Halliburton. Exxon Mobil. <laughs> no, I'm I'm dead serious. I know, I know you are. Exxon Mobil, Halliburton, uh, and in the finals, they they beat again Bank of America. See, so uh, the people that are putting people on the streets, yeah, murdering Bank of America, and it's like soldiers' houses. <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna get to a letter sent by by the COO in a little bit, but I, w I want to save this for a little. bit. For a while, I want I, I, I want to savor this moment because EA is probably the biggest. I don't I don't think they are the worst. Of course, they're not the worst com company in America. Mm -hmm. I mean, there there's a lot more than that. But but look, the way they great. handled it mm -hmm. makes them even more hated. Yeah, and and look, who's probably voting. Oh well, yeah, so that's what that's what he's that's people that play video games, you know. That's what Peter. Think... That, that's what this uh, Peter Moore is saying. That mm -hmm. 
this was all done by people who do not like EA. It's the more tech savvy of, of customers. That's yeah, the problem. There's not like a lot of consumer facing people to Hal Burton or Exxon Mobil or, or whatever else you said there. Yeah, uh, the bank but, people like uh, the bad stuff is the stuff we hear about in the news that's not happening to each and every one of us mm -hmm. as much or or at least to people that are know they can take it to the internet in force and and make us think about it in this kind of fashion the person that's probably really sad that they haven't won the golden poop award is dick cheney for halliburton yeah <laughs> it's like i wanted it this year <laughs> but but seriously i i don't get why ea is so up in arms about winning an award that nobody really knows about yeah, or cares uh, about just, until they after, make us think of it yeah after they uh, make the biggest there. but her speech before the votes were even counted this he he stated that this was all done by groups who were against gay marriage what because wow. EA is for gay, like for equal equal rights and all that stuff. Oh, because of the Fox News thing uh, with the Mass yes. Effect and everything, right? Yes. yes. And that EA, EA's choice of the ending for Mass Effect got everybody up in arms, mm -hmm. and that there are people who are mad. This is his exact, is almost his exact quote from his speech before winning. He goes that EA. People who voted for EA had like a online petition to vote for EA because they did not like who was on the Madden cover this year or other years. Wow. Uh, but but serious. The, but the butt hurt doesn't stop there. I have a letter from EA. Not not to me, to the consumers, <laughs> <laughs> and it reads. Well, you got us, consumerist. We are the worst company in America. Worse than Halliburton. Worse than ExxonMobil. Since, since, as everyone knows, releasing a bad SimCity game with iffy support is far more horrible than poisoning an entire community's groundwater or spilling 300,000 gallons of crude oil in the middle of Arkansas. Thank goodness you let a bunch of nerds angry about the ending of Mass Effect 3 decide that oh. or video game development is a worse is a worse corporate crime than literally causing the death of untold number of wildlife and irres irrepa ir irreparably destroying the environment. Great call. Can I stop yep. you there for a minute? Sure, I go think, ahead. I think after that comment about the nerds, he's going to get three years in a row. For yes. Yeah, I was going to say, I think they did just, just win uh, <laughs> next year's three-peat. Yeah, it's already least. over. But he, he went on. That was, oh, no. Why would you that do was, that? <laughs> that was one paragraph. It was truly an honor the, that the final contest between us and Bank of America. I mean, I can really see the similarities between the two companies. EA makes mediocre video. This, is, this guy's from EA. <laughs> he's calling them mediocre video games. <laughs> <laughs> EA makes mediocre video games. Bank of America committed mortgage fraud that co that has cost taxpayers billions of dollars. It's like we're twins. Of course we came out on top because Dragon Age 2 felt rushed. Oh, God. It it's way more terrible than illegally foreclosing on the homes of active, active duty members of the military. Yeah. Also, DRM. We belong in Guantanamo, Guantanamo for that. Wow. There's one more paragraph. <laughs> oh, no. Of course there is. <laughs> Keep digging now that we've won this award for two years in a row, it should send a strong message to us that we need to change our ways. You know what wouldn't send that mes exact same message? Except a much more explicit manner that would absolutely force the bosses to listen and make lasting changes to the way we do business? If consumers actually stop buying our games. Nope, that wouldn't work at all. But internet, but an internet pool overrun by Reddit and 4chan? That'll definitely make these corporate overlords stop cashing in with Battlefield 4 and new Madden games and start making Grim Fandango 2. <laughs> in summary, we are the worst. 
but we're super glad you have some perspective, Internet. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, uh, hey, a side note, I just got a text from Chachi. Uh, he's really mad because he actually played the challenge and the new maps for Call of Duty oh, tonight. No. <laughs> that's what one of our topics was going to Oh, yeah, be. that hold is off. tonight. Oh, I need to do that, too. <laughs> we'll, we'll hold off that for next week. Uh, yeah, new, yeah. Nature is against us on this one. So I didn't, I didn't get it yet, so. But, yeah, right. this that guy's a oh. dick. Wow, that's amazing. That is that, that is, is some dick. that is like uh, walking around with your wang out there. Uh, that's that's pretty incredible. <sighs> wow. That's, and uh, oh, good, Chris. That no, go ahead. I'm I'm just gonna repeat that that guy's a dick. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty um, much this episode today. But we will get more into that later because I think uh, there's a boss coming up later that. Uh, what EA could do oh. instead of being dicks. That's right. That's right. All right, but moving on, it's time for things you should be made aware of. Da, da, da. <laughs> things you should be made aware of. We need like an old timey voice, <laughs> like the the news of the world. All right. Uh, hey, you guys remember Duck Hunt? Yeah, I remember Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Someone made a no, pinball. Wait. Wait, what? It's a Duck Hunt pinball game. Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Duck yes, the classic Hunt. Nintendo game with a dog that laughed at you. Yes, I, I know. I'm just trying to, to tell the viewers we're saying Duck Hunt. What else not, are we not, saying? You know, we have, we have oh. to put the space in between <laughs> because it makes it dirty. Oh. Uh, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. This is an explicit tag earned, even though we alluded to it. <laughs> All right. Um, but, Sorg, you, you, you found this article yeah. on... Yeah, unfortunately, this video is not, uh, uh, it's not great load, at not loading at all. But there's a little... So it's, like, got the video screen. Uh, it, it's got... Uh, loads up the Duck Hunt game a little bit here. Uh, hopefully, we can actually get some other shots of it. But yeah, a complete custom job, kind of an homage to it. Uh, like I said, with the video screen, uh, a pretty cool mod. Uh, I guess I can't show much more of it. I thought they had more pictures on here as well. Uh, oh, here, here's a little bit loaded up. No, these are other duck hunt mods. Whoa, what, what are all these? Oh, wow. <laughs> like a lot of them. Asshole dog shoots duck hunter. Huh. Uh, <laughs> there's one you can shoot the dog. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely like other versions of stuff. You can kind of see it in the thumbnails here in the bottom a little Going with bit. With our theme, that dog was a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's over in Kodaku. Kodaku. Uh, you can check it out in our show notes as well, or just look up uh, Duck Hunt, the pinball machine. Uh, I, I, the YouTube is really weird. Maybe if I actually go to the YouTube page or something. No, this, it just isn't Duck loading hunt. right. Hunt. So, but yeah. Hunt. Um, our next thing we should, are making you aware of this week is, um, have you ever gone to a Comic-Con? Why, yes. yes, I have gone to a Comic-Con. I have also gone to a WrestleCon. Yeah. Have you, were there, was there artwork at this WrestleCon or Comic-Cons? Yes, actually, in both cases. Oh, wow. Really, really cool artwork. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I found on Etsy.com and Redbubble.com, you can buy very similar artwork Video game centric artwork. Wait a minute. On... What, what is that? What is that? I my my screen is not too good right now. Top like Nintendo, right Nintendo top controller. Yes, that is a dress. Oh. Yeah, the, the nice people over at Etsy, um, different artists and everything kinda like that. You can buy pretty much anything under the sun, video just, game related. Just throwing that um, out the, there. I kind of want that. You want the skirt? Made. You never know. Never know when it's coming in handy, sort. But I, I was. Wait, on wait, why are you directing that at me? I don't know. Why? Why am I directing at you, sort? Are you guys huh. fighting over that dress? Huh. Or you can get this one. That says single <laughs> taken, busy hunting dragons. <laughs> That's Bobby's there. Yeah, that is mine. Um, but yeah, I was on. I was on Etsy this week, and I bought two art prints uh, from one of the artists on there. Um, I bought two um, Bioshock Infinite surprise prints, uh, one of Elizabeth and another one of Elizabeth opening a tear. And you can see the, the two robots from Portal 2. It's pretty Bob, cool. Bobby has so. a virtual man crush of Elizabeth, on Elizabeth. I do. I'm and sorry. I think, 
and I think uh, Elizabeth she has, is going to. She has to, my heart. It, and she's my, going. And my, she's going my to coins. put a virtual uh, restraining order on on Bobby. <laughs> it's probably right. Yeah. In all all of her tail. Stay tales. fifty feet away from the it game. I, I, I like this there. motivational. Just five more minutes poster. Yeah, I actually. There's another Nintendo one too with the and the actual Nintendo uh, console on it. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of neat artwork on there if you, you yeah, go around and, and search. Um, this, some prints they range from like ten bucks to twenty bucks. You know, there's a really nice Zelda poster on there, um, but it's twenty dollars. And people are selling like some random old uh, video games too, but for obscene prices. Yeah, like I saw a Nintendo cartridge. I tweeted it over to Chachi. Uh, that's yeah, here three hundred dollars for something called Gun Neck from ASCII. I don't know if this is actually a rare um, uh, uh, game. It's probably probably somebody just like. Made it yeah, themselves. Probably just like put it up. No, I don't think oh, no? so. It's from oh, ASCII. No. That's a real company. Oh. So oh. I, I don't know. I think he's just like saying, oh, what's it called? Uh, gun Knack. Uh, gun I've NAC. Heard of gun uh, I don't I've heard know. Of they're also gun selling uh, a couple other ones, including like Legend of Zelda, which they're selling for 50 bucks. So I don't know. Maybe there is a little bit to it. So I don't know. It's got its box, but no manual. Interesting. So, a lot of times, a lot of times people will make those into like store. Um, storage for a computer like remo- removable storage mm-hmm. there was a guy at uh i think it was one of steel city cons or something uh but he was uh actually it might have been like baltimore comic-con they were actually painting on cartridges and selling those that was pretty cool <laughs> so yeah um, cool. yeah you see a lot of that stuff and i never thought of like looking on etsy for something like that but that's not the only one right bobby um what do you, what do you mean that's not the only one redbubble.com Oh yeah, there's another one, Redbubble too. Mm-hmm. Um, Redbubble has uh, T-shirts and stuff you can buy too. They have posters, T-shirts, um, art prints. Um, you can buy small cards. I bought, I've purchased a um, T-shirt on Redbubble. Uh, it was a Doctor Who one. Uh, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, the phone, Bobby. Oh, get, get the phone, get the phone, phone, Bobby. Get the phone. You can get I him, do I'm like the Pink it. Floyd Legend of Zelda mix there. Yeah. Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> Michigan's <Anyways>. calling. They <laughs> want some T-shirts. So, uh, but no, I, yeah, I never thought to go to Etsy and like just look up video games. That's all I'm getting this stuff from is just searching video games. So you can go in and look for whatever uh, specific, uh, whatever your obsession is lately, like Bioshock, maybe. Bobby. Uh, Bobby, uh, <laughs> as he did. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Never thought of that. All right, our, our next uh, thing you should be made aware of, um, there's a video online of an old lady, a grandmother, um, using Image Mind's um, Oculus Rift headset. I think you've mentioned this on uh, mm-hmm. Awesome Cast Yeah, before. we talked about it a little bit. This is a pretty cool uh, – a guy did this, basically. I think he did it as a Kickstarter. And this is like just showing like a 90-year-old grandma on how she's reacting to it, right? Yeah. Uh, Image Mind's. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, this lady is so, like, sweet and how she, like, like, this, it's like she basically moves her head around. She can see the ocean. Um, she can see inside of this house that they have set up in there. And she just goes nuts. She's like, I can't believe this is real. <laughs> it's real sweet. It's on Kotaku. Um, uh, if you want to go over there and check that out. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So give that That's a awesome. Look. This is the future, man. Like, like it, it feels like it's coming around. Like everything I hear about this Oculus Rift is tremendous. Uh, like it, it seems like somebody might have actually done it right. Oh yeah. So and it looks like it's portable. It doesn't. Oh jeez, I just saw the part where she like went the back. Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like where she's bashing point. her head on the back of that. <laughs> But uh, hey, man, you're in the future now. We're sending people to Mars, and uh, and 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 old ladies are, are are checking out the Oculus Rift. That's awesome. nothing beats Virtual Boy. Uh, everything beats Virtual Boy. Nothing beats nope. the headache from Virtual Boy. Come on, everything in the future will be red and feature Mario characters. <laughs> Oh, and there is a little bit of video of, I guess, what she's actually seeing. So I guess this is the display output that's going to it. Yeah, so. that's the, there's the house that she was looking into. You can, she's looking in the windows. That's and awesome. Like that. It's, that is it's awesome. really neat. Cool. All right, uh, next up we will have scenes from a webcomic. Scenes from a webcomic as read by uh, Bobby. And and the rest of us this week because there's three different parts. Oh. So oh, wait playing a minute. the Let me get part. Ready. Playing the part. 
of. I will take the part of. Is that Gabe or Tycho? Uh, I believe that. I believe that is Tycho. Okay, I'll, I'll play the part of Tycho. Okay. Riz, you can be the part of the. Or no, Sword, you want to be the 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 announcer? Or well, the, the announcer the, uh, is actually still Tycho, so there's only two parts. Oh, okay. I'll be the oh. Xbox at the end. At the end. Okay. All right, you can be the Xbox at the end. All right. All right. Here and we go. I'll just and here. action. Microsoft's next console is always on. Fact. But what is it always on? Let's dig deep. Next panel. Is it always on fire? They show burning Xbox. We don't know what they're not, and they're not saying. Maybe it's always on the prowl for cougar pussy. <laughs> Sup, murder, she wrote. Want to break a hip? <laughs> and scene. Oh, that was oh, good. The, the, oh, describing that panel, the Xbox is talking to an, an older lady at, at a bar. So, and in the second panel, the Xbox is actually on fire. Yeah, yes. no two things are not on fire. <laughs> and all you sort, uh, Strong Bad fans will get that reference. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> and that uh, brings us to the news. The news. <laughs> <laughs> Like our little bulletin things. All right. Um, this week there was controversy over Bioshock. Infinite. What? No. Uh, you mean the you, you mean the game with the racy, pe- the racist people in the 1900s? That, no. That yeah, oddly, not the race issue. No, it's it's not a racism issue or anything no, no, no. like that. It's no. um, baptism. Oh. Yeah. At the beginning of the game, before you even really start to play, uh, Booker gets baptized. Okay. And one fan took this into uh, consideration and decided not to play the game because he was offended because he gets he's getting baptized, claiming that the, they're making him forsake his religion and um, basically they're making fun of religion. He's, I guess, heavy religious. But he's okay with the fact that you kill people in the game. Yep, <laughs> but he's not okay with it's getting. Funny baptized. what the hanging points are, you know. I, I think it's just because you don't see something like that, and then and then that goes to the point where it's one thing like seeing that on TV, but you are actively yeah. doing it. And I guess the the, 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 the what I'm hearing, and, and you guys can confirm, you can't get around being baptized at the beginning of the game. No, you, you cannot no, enter you this place until you're baptized. What? I think uh, there's a little bit of a. a uh, lack of a suspension of disbelief or or, 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 or whatever uh, to say, you know, hey, this is, you know, it's a game, man. You know, exactly. I, I, it's just weird. Yeah. Another point, um, it's not, you're, you're, you are not the character of yes. the game. You are yes. not getting baptized. Booker is a character in the game and it's but central again, to the story. But again, since this is first person, yeah, it's presumed that you are that character. Yeah, and you're so not. So I it's... think it's an interpretation that's happening there. Mm-hmm. Um, enough that this guy made us think about it. Yeah, <laughs> so screw you. You get the poop award. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to our next story, um, guys, Skyrim. You guys remember that game? How Skyrim? many years has Skyrim been out? Holy hell. Um, in November 11th, 2011, it came out. I remember that because 11, 11, 11. Okay. Um. And I counted down the days till it came out, sadly. Um, uh, Skyrim is officially done. Uh, there oh, will be no more God. expansion packs for it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they released Dragonborn, Dragonborn. They released Dragon Fire. Um, and they released another one early on, I think the first one. I can't remember what it was called, though. Um, but after three, they're three and out. So mm-hmm. That's not yeah. bad. That's not bad. It's a lot of content. Yeah. Um, I, I was... I. I actually just bought um dragonborn um and i have to i've yet to play it so i might dig deep into that this weekend to okay. uh say goodbye to skyrim officially mm-hmm. but uh but then again on pc everybody's talking about well there's a modding community so i don't have a powerful enough pc to take advantage of that so yeah i mean if you do feel free now, can I uh, insert a story here uh, to replace since Chachi isn't here to talk about his? And if you're interested in Chachi's article, he's well, going to talk about his cost of Call of Duty. Um, mm-hmm. That's actually up on insertcoinbegin.com. Do you want to yeah. move on to the next one first, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to. Because it kind of ties in with the other one. Oh, does it? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Um, 
the 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 next one the next story is um bethesda's saying goodbye to skyrim but are they saying hello to fallout 4 um there's a new uh there was a new vine video that was released today um teasing it um they're claiming it's not fallout 4 but everybody's like yeah it's fallout 4 so we'll see um and you can see on the video or for, for the video viewers um there is a bar cir circling and a record player circling, and they're playing static in the background of it. Mm. So uh, everybody thinks it's it's Fallout 4, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Mm -hmm. it, it's, we'll see. it's porn. <laughs> Bethesda's into porn now. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, Sorg, what, what story were you talking about? No, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Uh, this this week they, uh, Nintendo has shuttered the uh, uh, several of the applications for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, including the weather, the news channels, uh, the Check Me Out channel, and like I think another of the Wii channels. What are they going to do without the ones. weather channel? I know, right? I know, right? Oh, um, that's right. I can go online and see. What oh, the like. you, you can go on your television and look. I just miss like like being able to take the world and take the Wii mode and go Wii and spin it. Yeah, that was kind of fun. That was yeah. that was a blast. Hopefully, I can still log in and do that. Not that I've turned my Wii on in months. Is the news channel shut down? Uh, yes, that as well. Uh -huh. So, I mean, it's, uh, they said that this is based on participation uh, in those channels and to, you know, re, you know, rework some assets over to the Wii U because, God, they need it. Um, but, I don't know, this idea that, like, well, this is something you can still buy a Wii. I think they still sell a good bit of them, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Who wants to buy the Wii U? So, you know, once one by you, Wii U. So, you're, I mean, these people are getting these things. And these are like like the applications on the iPhone that you can't delete, right? Yeah. Uh, so, they're there and they're dead right off the bat. Uh, oh, and also the Wii Connect 24 channel, which I think you can send, like, files and messages to your friends over it. Um, so, I mean, I think this is... <sighs> I mean, this whole idea that we're getting these systems and, you know, you're talking about Xbox always on uh, and other things like like you're going to get to this point where, you know, can I dust off my Wii and how useful is it going to be 10 years from now? You know? <laughs> OK, I'm going to dust off my Xbox 360 in 10 years and how useful is it going to be uh, when half of the stuff that I do on it is so dependent on these services? You know, am I going to be able to dust off your Wii? <laughs> We're five. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, mm. uh, and Brother Sorkin says he loves Skyrim on PC. It looks pretty. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I don't know. I don't know that either of you even have a Wii or anything like that. But, but we're going to see what happens in this next system when our, our PlayStation 3s and our Xbox 360s um, start becoming replaced. At, at what point do they start losing their functionality Yeah. when it's I, so online-based anymore? I have Once you start making video games for the Xbox and PlayStation 3, will that ever happen? Will that that the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 be gone? That well, they will be at some point. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's when you, you ask when, like when the the Xbox 360 or PS3. Usually, will be, no, no, no uh, I'm not worried about when so much. But it's just that idea that we go, we I can I can pull out a, a Nintendo, a Sega Genesis, a PlayStation 2, and, and play the games without any issue. But now we're playing these games that are dependent on services like this. Uh, so where's your nostalgia? Or, or do we have to be completely dependent on all these titles being re-released in the future? Like we're we're going back and buying all those old DOS games. Mm -hmm. Or is this what the cycle is now? You know, the platforms are, are not... Are, cannot stick around. Is, is it? Is it? We're getting to this point where we see, you know, hey, this technology doesn't last. Hey, this 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 device isn't going to last, and you're going to have to find new ways to play your Super Mario Brothers. Um, and what happens when there's the games like that that don't get? What if there wasn't a good old Games.com, and then I couldn't get the original Carmageddon? Or those people went under and the rights to Carmageddon got locked up in the whole interplay being sold off and bankrupt uh, from several years ago. And then I'd never get to play that game again because I'm not dusting off and making a, a DOS boot floppy in order to try to play that game, right? Dust, dust. Uh, but now, they, luckily, they, they got out of there. It's on good old games. It's on my iPhone. Um, so, 
I don't know. What, what, what That's is... a Game Boy Sorg. <laughs> it's an iPhone. <laughs> iPhone. It's obviously oh. an iPhone. But I, I don't know. Maybe this could be the boss battle, et cetera, or something. Maybe, or maybe for another time. But but how do you guys feel about that idea that my games may not last forever? Nothing yeah. really lasts forever. So. Oh. <laughs> well, n- n- no, Nintendo seriously, games like, have been around. I, I still play old Nintendo games. Mm-hmm. I bought a whole bunch at the Cash and Culture in mm-hmm, Greensburg. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I just... The last time I played this was Conquer's Back for a Day yes. on the N sixty four. Nice. Yeah, it yes. was for uh, let's uh, like want to think back, you know, ten years from now to the good old days. I can't just dust off an Xbox and play that again if they don't support those kinds of download games on the new Xbox, oh, yeah. right? You yeah. know, it's like I bought these games digitally, so I can't carry that over. You know, that seems like a problem to me. You know, I feel like I, I don't know. Maybe I'm spoiled by something like a uh, iPhone and Chachi with his his Android device, where you know, hey, I'm invested in this. I have a bunch of games on this, and no matter what iPhone, iPad I buy in the future, I watch. That's something that carries over. I can still go grab the Super Monkey Ball game I bought on the original Edge iPhone three iPhones ago and Why'd play it on here sword? if I want. You Why'd know, you buy that sword? what? Why'd you buy that? They didn't have a lot of selection back then, okay? (laughs) They really didn't have a lot. And I was like, wow, it's a real game. Or the, uh, what was it? The, the, uh, what was the game that they had that was like the evolution game? Spore? Yeah. Like they had the Spore uh, Origins where you had a little one cell organism going through and and you could customize it. That That was kind of cool. That was another controversial game. (laughs) That was another controversial game. And it was by EA. Yeah, there you go. Um, But, I don't know. It's just something to think about. Maybe that's a future boss battle. Let me know what yeah, you think. Yeah. Go over to Facebook or the Google Plus and, and, and let, and, or Twitter. Uh, let us know what you think of, of that concept and about your good old games. And if they're, uh, a, a, if you're worried about the ones that you have new, now not being good old games anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Well, isn't that what the. I'm sorry to get back on this, mm-hmm. this track, but isn't that what co- the, the Xbox and PlayStation are doing? And even the Wii, they're. they're rehashing those old games mm-hmm. online they're doing they have they the xbox they live arcade they, they have playstation network they mm-hmm. have the wii U, the wii service that so now I, we're dependent but then we're dependent on the ones that think that those games are going to be worthy enough for us to get them again mm-hmm. what about would you, like would you buy toe jam and earl <laughs> no no but I, I don't have a i wasn't in, earthworm gym i wasn't into that but i would play some earthworm gym i've been considering picking up on the iphone once or twice uh but i have the x-men arcade game i have you know oh what else i have carmageddon like i said uh i have uh what's that they did release the Simpsons game. Pac-Man, Sonic Spinball is on this thing. Streets of Rage One, Mega Man X. Um, I mean, I am really big into the old school stuff. I you think know. I think we ju- I think you just broke Bobby but, uh, Sword. I did. Uh, Mega Man X. Yes. I hated Mega Man X. <laughs> what? But I still, I can X. make I can get Mega Man Two on my iPhone. But they yes. didn't decide to put any of the other Mega Mans on there. That's it, you know. Now I'm like, yo, know, beholden to them, you know. Yeah, all the, all the Mega Man, all the Mega Man games almost are available on uh, 3DS. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so I mean, they just keep reissuing stuff. But I, and I don't think there's a problem with that because there's always going to yeah. be somebody discovering or be like, oh, I got yeah, exactly. this. I would love to play those old games. So, but you know, I and then it's then also that how useful is a Call of Duty game going to be ten years from now? Mm-hmm. You know, definitely not World of Warcraft, right? Yep. You're not playing the same World of Warcraft you were uh, five years ago. That's for sure. Anyways, to you, Bobby, because we got... All right. Uh, it's time for the boss battle. Yay! <laughs> um, what can EA do to change its image? Uh, we talked about it earlier t- this, this evening or afternoon or morning, if you're listening, depending on when you're listening to this. Um, <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're in some... Try, we are a timeless the, podcast. I, I try to keep the listeners aware of their surroundings. Look That's around. Something they should Close be your eyes. Made aware of. Listen to our voice. Who's that behind you? Oh my God! <laughs> Anyways, um, EA did win the uh, Golden Poopy Award. Poopy. <laughs> and we want to give them suggestions to change their image. Um, what do you guys think they should do? Chris. 
quit being a dick. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, if if you're bet that upset about a poll, mm-hmm. uh, an online poll, yeah, then you shouldn't be here. You should be gone by now. But if you're really that upset about a magazine claiming you're something, just like I posted in my post on Insert Coin to Begin. Guess who was 1992 World Sexiest Man by People? Who? Who? Nick Nolte. What? Ah, that's the Incredible Hulk crazy junk guy. And Richard Gere won it twice. Well, that that was the gerbil vote. Well, yeah, that, of course. And also, make more of these games and allegedly. Make so, so Bobby doesn't get upset. So these yeah, games don't suck. <laughs> they <laughs> they released the NHL 14 trailer, and mm-hmm. um, two Pittsburgh Penguins are in the trailer prominently. So still, here's but, hoping to get one of them on the cover this year. But that still, would make EA a better company. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is it's fine that they're doing this with the, the whole, like, choose the guy on the cover this year mm-hmm. or something like that but the outside of the box is nothing mm-hmm. what's on it it's what's on the inside that counts mm-hmm. well it, it's the, it's the graphics it's the controls it's yeah. it's the fact that the game actually wants to work properly yeah, it's they, the they, origin it's God. everything you know, I think, and, it, and 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 maybe because I'm not uh, into the sports as much as you are with them, but I don't really have much hate for EA. Like, they haven't really wronged me, other than seeing what happened with the Simpsons thing. I didn't buy SimCity. Uh, anything I pick up, like, I'll just pick up an occasional need for speed now on my phone. That's really all I need. You know, pay the 99 cents mm-hmm. when it's on sale. I'm good to go. Because um, there's always that experience to go check out or or if i do get something from ea it's checking out mass effect it's checking out anything from criterion because they always love the burnout games right um i think there's a lot of really good things happening that they haven't really killed um from certain studios that they've absorbed Mm -hmm. for sure um but other than that like and then every once in a while there's something kind of cool or indifferent like a mirror uh was a mirror effect the, uh, the parkour image. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, well, I played the again. I played the iOS version, but even when I saw from the yeah. uh, other version, it looked like interesting, different. You know. Um, so I, I think there. I think Mirror's the, Edge. The issue Mirror's is. Edge. Yeah, that's what. Mirror's Edge. Thank you. Uh, I think the issue is they are so big. They're getting a little unwieldy. Um, when you they're, get they're, the, you get that big, it gets it, it, whoever's in control over there is not. Uh, 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 you know, asset managing as they should, um, and I think that's it. I, if it's something where they need to look around and say, "Okay, we need to, we need to refocus." So, you know, Google is doing the same thing in the tech sector where they're looking at things and killing off things where they're like, "Okay, we need to make sure we're focused on the things that are that matter to this company, right?" Um, you know, maybe they cut it down. Like, maybe we'll just do the football games and the basketball games and the big sports, and maybe we'll cut out some of these. Uh, maybe we don't need a lacrosse game, you know, or whatever kind of fringe stuff they're doing <laughs> there. You know, um, can I, can I just say with this this whole thing, your diatribe, your can I sum it up, sword? Hmm. EA, quit being dicks. Give a crap. You know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can't put out some of those games they put out. And, you know, look at THQ. You know? Oh, look what happened yeah, to them. They're gone. You know, they're gone because they didn't <laughs> give a crap about what they stuck out on a shelf. You know? Um, they, 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 they did too much. They, they got a little too unwieldy, and, and they dropped the ball. They dropped too many balls. They dropped the whole uh, box of balls. And, uh, hey, and, and there they hey, are. Hey, Sorg. Hmm. TH who? TH who, indeed. Oh. Um, so I, I think that's it. I, I think otherwise I kind of just knew and stayed away from something like these guys, you know? One of, one of the things with EA that bothers me, I downloaded, um, Simpsons tap out. Yeah. And now for some reason it won't work because they have origins, uh, servers running it now. And that's and the other thing. I can't, I can't get into the game, and I really like the game, and I was really far into the game, and now mm-hmm. when I boot it up, it plays the intro um, video again, mm-hmm. and then it just says you 
retry to connect much. to the server. A little bit of doing like, too much, right? Yeah, I, oh, you, like, you mean the EA server doesn't work? Yeah, yeah. Little, they, like they said, hey, we want a bigger piece of the pie, so we're going to do our own version of Steam. You know, yeah. Steam, who has Still. come from the ground up and built up and done things right, and they're reliable, and I have no problem making that my, my storage locker for my old games and rebuying those, leading to our old uh, conversation, where that's where I, I go have Duke Nukem and Quake that were sitting on my shelf and ran on DOS, now I can go check them out, you know? Um, that I would not trust EA's origin with anything like that. No. E would I not, because there's too many bad stories, uh, your your image is just you know just just tarnished to some the, so much sure you're getting a bigger piece of the pie but you're definitely not putting them towards reliability people um like, i think there's a formula that is highly highly flawed with that company uh, like another thing is, oh go ahead, oh, go, ahead so, go ahead bobby and another thing they could do which uh, they're never going to do um is instead of releasing a sports game every year why don't they alternate every other year with like Madden and NHL and NBA and just release like the, the rosters to update the game every other year mm -hmm. and charge maybe like 10 to 20 bucks for the roster updates or whatever. And, and maybe a little extra like gameplay or something like that instead of charging $60 every year. I know they're trying to make money, but it gets a little excessive when you don't change the game. Like Madden hasn't really changed much in the last like maybe four or five years and it's yeah. like something like those wrestling games so, you know mm -hmm. wouldn't it be nice if and i know they're not doing the wrestling games yeah, but they're not gonna wouldn't do it. it be nice if uh because it really do i really have to relearn the, the scheme every year like really did you make it better usually it's a back step you know mm -hmm. can i just get updated rosters you know you go about yeah, six yeah. months out and then you stop Yep. You know, so I have a reason to go buy your next your next game for sixty bucks. You know, I'm not in for it, you know. And and I, if that model works for him, but I'd like to see one of these guys kind of change it up a little bit. And uh, I don't know, EA, if their numbers going, keep if their numbers keep going in the tank, maybe they'll give it a shot. That's when people start doing risky and different stuff. Mm -hmm. Going going to back to what uh, you guys were talking about before about the um, the 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 servers. Mm -hmm. Uh, we mentioned this before on this show, on how bad these servers are. Mm -hmm. I've been playing... I was playing... Oh, crap. Get over here. You are playing Mass oh, crap. I was playing Mass Effect 3, mm -hmm. of course. And every time a new multiplayer download comes up, mm -hmm. you download it, you play it, and the server crashes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you restart, download, or no, you don't even download it. You you restart, you play it again. No, Ser the server is full. Please try again. Server is full. Please try again. And it keeps on going on and on and on. It just so it just shows you how much, how little effort they put into their own system. Yeah, and they they. They should like. Here, here's the thing. They, they, they did claim that EA said that they should get better twice now. That mm -hmm. they should. They, they, they're, they're getting better twice. Mm -hmm. And last year, when they won the first Golden Pooh Award, <laughs> they said that they were going to get better. The, the thing with mm -hmm. Halliburton and Bank of America. Even though they're pretty crappy right now, get it? But they're not in the news as much. They won't, they're not focused more anymore. They're not the big focus. Like, if there was one company like BP, which I'm surprised didn't go far. Well, it's not an American company, though. Well, good point. But still, if they... If they it, the EA has been in the spotlight now for a year for winning this award and once they're in this award they have to get better or else they're going to win it again because they're not improving mm -hmm. anything I, and I think for, with that letter they're going to win it again anyways yeah and in one year have they improved anything yeah it's a nominal thing and um, at, at, well, 
Yeah. One thing they are gonna they say they're gonna going to improve, but I'll see it when I believe it is uh, Dragon Age Three. Mm-hmm. They said they're really gonna put a lot of focus into that, which is good because Dragon Age Orig- Origins was amazing. Dragon Age Two, I liked it, but it wasn't as good. Yeah. So I beat it. Yeah. That that tells you something right there. I like the game if I beat it. Mm-hmm. So. And also, it's it kind of shows how good other gaming companies are until they got bought out by <laughs> EA. Yeah, because yeah. Mass Effect One and I think no, just Mass Effect One was one of the better games that I've played. Mass mm-hmm. Effect Two was good, it was it was awesome. Then Mass Effect Three came in with EA. Well, Mass Effect Two uh, was either with EA as well, but I think Bioware had more to say than they did in the, in Mass Effect Three, which kind of tanked. Mm-hmm. It was still yeah. a good game. It just wasn't. It's still a good game. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. So. Mass Effect. All right. Well, I think that'll do it for us this week. Um, you can check us out at insertcointobegin dot com, um, and on Twitter on the Twitters at at insertcointv dot com or at insertcointv, um, yeah. and dot com. for Chachi Riz, Sorg, and myself, we missed you this week, Chachi. Game over. Thought you come back.